Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Let's start out with fire and water. Let's get this reading started the right way. Find out the answers that you need to know, what you need to know. Go look at the bigger picture in your energy. Okay, let's start off with um, ask a question, Taurus. Think of a question, something that you want to know. What does Taurus need to know? It is Monday, July 25th, 2022. But at the time you're watching, this is when it's meant to find you. What does Taurus need to know? Trust. So something is calling for you to have trust is the answer to your question. And let's get one more. Please answer Taurus's question. Communicate clearly. Trust and communicate clearly. Okay, and then um, let's you just shuffle the cards three times. What does Taurus need to know? Spirits. Body, mind, and soul. Okay, Taurus, let's see what you need to know today. Or when you're at the time you're watching this reading. What does Taurus need to know? Okay, we're starting off with the Five of Wands. And the Six of Wands. Seven of Wands and the Sun, Leo energy. Center card of your reading is the Nine of Swords. So there's worry here. There's something you're worried about. The Ace of Swords. You have the Yes card here. I'm seeing you worried about something, but there's no need to worry. You have the Sun, you have the Ace of Swords, and you have a worry in the center. Eight of Swords. The Magician. And the world. Okay, Taurus, so let's clarify and let's find out what's going on. The bottom of your deck is the Ten of Cups, and you're rising up as the Hermit. Like there's, you've been through the dark night of the soul, you have the lantern in your hand here, seeing the way. And what you're seeing is it's time to drop burdens, things that no longer serve you. And you're going to be moving into a very happy place in your life very soon, if you're not there already. Because right now I see you carrying around burdens. I feel like there's something here where there's worry, there's burdens. There could be a conflict with someone We'll find out what this conflict or competition is showing up in, as your first card of the reading. Whatever this worry is, this conflict, I'm seeing you having victory over it. 
Why is the Five of Wands here? Taurus got the devil again. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Your emotions are sitting in the energy. There's a Capricorn or a Scorpio here that you were giving to that you could be in your emotions about fighting an inner battle. This person has a lot of passion for you. There's a lot of attraction there. Why is the Five of Wands here? We have the Seven of Cups. The Star. Aquarius energy. And the Ace of Cups. There's new love coming into your life. I feel like you're... Um, Cutting off someone here. And there's new love showing up. There's something here where you're being highly recognized. And it could be online. Because we have the Seven of Cups and the Star. And the Six of Wands next to it is people are cheering you on here. It's like you're being recognized. A lot of recognition, people looking up to you. Blessings. But there seems to be some competition here or confusion. Why is the Six of Wands here? And I also see new love coming into your life, Taurus. There's someone new. There's someone old. Not old, but there's someone that um, is a past energy showing up here also. But it looks like you're moving away from that past. See how you're moving away from the past? The Six of Cups are your thoughts, your mind thinking about the past, the Six of Swords as you moving on, but you haven't reached the other shore yet. You're still in the middle of your emotions here, but you're on your way there. The number six could be significant to someone, and um, I'm seeing there's earned success here. There's something that you're doing, Taurus, that's going to be successful. Why is the Seven of Wands here? You're, um, you're standing up here fighting for yourself and um, you're being very protected right now by the universe. You have like a protective bubble shield around you and um, you're, it's divine timing right here with the Wheel of Fortune. It's time to walk away from the past and enter into the new And what you may not realize right now is you're walking towards this um, King of Pentacles. So you're walking into a strong energy here when it comes to your finances. And there, this could be something new with the Page of Wands or this could be a message that you'll be receiving. There's something here that you're fighting for. And what you're walking towards, because the next card, see where you're walking? It's kind of dark, you here walking, but you're walking towards the sun, and the sun is the yes card. You're going to be coming out of darkness. If you're feeling like you're not really sure what's going on right now, you're walking into the sunshine where things are going to be very clear to you. Could be dealing with a Leo. I'm not sure if I said that yet or not. You're going to be getting messages from someone here that I'm not sure who this person is, but I'm seeing someone here sending you messages um, 
but I, look at your face. You're disinterested in these messages that are coming in. It's like you're bored with it. Your arms are crossed. You're not interested. But the this is someone coming in as the Knight of Wands. There could be a child here that is significant. There could be someone here that um, rejected your love in the past. Tell me about this. these messages, spirits. The sun again. Okay, so there's... There's answers coming with the sun. It illuminates everything so that you can see clearly. And a decision that needs to be made. Um, if you're watching me right now and um, there's some type of a dece decision that you need to make, I feel like the, the answer is yes. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, you're, you're in the dark with the moon in your emotions, but what you don't see right next to the moon is there's a brand new passionate beginning, the Ace of Wands. And the next card is the Ace of Swords. So I'm seeing someone here um, with communication with the Ace of Swords. There's someone here coming to tell you the truth about something. Why is this Ace of Swords here? This is what you're worried about. There's there's a secret here that you're worried about. With the Ace of Swords, the truth is going to come out. Why is the Nine of Swords here? You're worried about this. There's some type of secret. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Seven of Cups. You've invested a lot. You've invested a lot with someone. Whoever, um, whoever you've done this investing with a lot of time, love, energy, effort. Um, this person is going to be coming to tell you the truth about something. The sun is coming out in the Ace of Swords. So there's, um, there's an energy here of what you're worried about. Something, some type of truth and clarity coming to light here. Then we have the Eight of Swords. And I feel like this truth, I don't know, let's clarify this Eight of Swords. The devil is there. I'm seeing a lot of material gain here in your energy, a lot of growth. We have the Hierophant and the Emperor. It's like you're worried about something, Taurus. I'm not seeing another, I'm not seeing a person showing up here in this next card. I'm seeing you worried about something that is going to do very, very well for you. The devil here around these other cards is I'm feeling like um, there's there's growth that has come out of like um, from the de the devil. It's like this devil was a. Uh, was a step to raise you to a higher level because now you're showing up here as the magician 
so you're in this energy where you have everything that you need now that you've acquired to manifest what you want moving forward why is the magician here I'm, I think I got this message for you guys last night, too, or yesterday. Um, there's some type of of some type of growth occurring because of some type of a painful ending. It's like you're using this as your strength. You could be dealing with a Pisces here. But I'm just seeing you closing out the past and this, there's a whole new world and with the Ten of Cups here showing up. Why is the world here? Trust your intuition because I'm seeing you standing here trying to make a choice. And I'm getting yeses everywhere to have trust. And um, in wherever your intuition is guiding you, the direction it's guiding you. Look at that. powerful you you are the hermit on the bottom of the deck the hierophant the high priestess the magician and um you're trying to make a decision here we got three queens here which i feel like all three of these queens Taurus energy is the Empress, which embodies all three queens. So you could be feeling a little bit blindfolded and thinking one way one minute with your heart and then being in this Queen of Wands energy, this confident, passionate energy, and then Queen of Pentacles, a mother, um, thinking about your home, your money. But I'm seeing you here blindfolded and closed off to something. But you need to take that blindfold off and take some action here. Why is the Two of Swords here? And make a decision. This could be a new job, this Page of Pentacles. I'm seeing you here you're going to be celebrating something but your walls are up and you could be feeling tired right now Taurus with the nine of wands looking at strength looking to have strength the nine of wands is the wounded warrior so I feel like you're you're looking for strength you're tired but whatever you're doing um, it's like you're going to run right into what you want it's showing up here as the Knight of Pentacles. So this, whatever you're wanting here is showing up. It's coming towards you. It's very slow, like it's taken a while to get to you, but it's, it's like something that you're going to run into here, showing up in your energy right now. Okay, so let's, Grab your Moonology cards for advice. Advice for Taurus spirits. What does Taurus need to know? You are the carrier of the lantern and you are Finding your way out of the darkness here.
have faith in your dreams and luck is on your side new moon in Sagittarius and this have faith in your dreams is waxing crescent moon and I feel like the number six is significant to me in this reading your dreams need a practical plan full moon in Taurus so I'm feeling like there's something here that you need to get going on make a decision there's this energy of hesitation of a pause communication is key new moon in Gemini all right, Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing. And um, I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.